Welcome to ESPN. I'm your host, Connor Smith, joined with my good friends, Bradley Kaufman and Aiden Yon. Breaking down the World Series, it's coming up this year. Who's your pick for the entire thing? I'm going to have to go with the Philadelphia mm-hmm. Phillies to win it all. I think it could be a very close race just for them to get out of the NL and then whoever they play in the American League, whether that be Cleveland or Baltimore or New York. But I think they're going to get there just on absolutely elite pitching. I mean, Zach Wheeler, Aaron Nola at the top of that rotation, starting games one and two of the World Series, that's going to be impossible to hit against. They've got a phenomenal lineup as well with Trey Turner having a career career year, Bryce Harper great as always, uh, and just a lot of good pieces. Bullpen is solid as well. I'm taking the Phillies. Who's your pick to grab the bouquet, Brad? My pick to win the World Series is the Oakland Athletics because they have incredible young players in Tyler Soderstrom. They have gr- like they have great pitching, and this is one of their last years in Oakland. And I think they want to win one more time for the entire city, and they just have great prospects, and which is good for them because they've traded every single one of their great players away, and these prospects have been developing in the minors for years, and now I think it's finally the year where they all click and help the A's to win the World Series. My pick's the Orioles. Gunnar Henderson has 28 home runs. Anthony Santander right behind him with 24. Santander, the only one of the top five Orioles hitters that's hitting below average. And the Orioles lead the league, the entire league, with home runs with 149. I'm picking the Orioles. Breaking news, Mason Miller has been traded to the Phillies to be the closer. Phillies trade their top three prospects to Oakland. What do you what do you think about that, Aiden? I think this is just going to make Philly more unstoppable. I think the bullpen's been solid, but if anything, that's the team's weakness. Um, and then adding Mason Miller, who's been the best closer in Major League Baseball this season, to the back end of that bullpen. And then you can move you know, Jeff Hoffman, who's been great, to maybe the eighth inning. You've still got guys like Anthony Dominguez, and Jose Alvarado in the sixth and seventh. That just absolutely locks down this Phillies bullpen. And with starters like Nola, Wheeler, and Christopher Sanchez, it is going to be impossible to score runs against the Philadelphia Phillies. What, what's your take on that, Radley? I think that this is a great trade for the Phillies because you can never have too many pitchers. And this guy is as good as it gets in a closer. And the bullpen has always been the Phillies' weakness. They've strengthened it in recent years, but it's still not a World Series caliber bullpen, and I think it now is. I still think the A's will win the AL pennant because they now have the Phillies' best prospects. When you trade away every good player for prospects and, and those prospects start developing, and they all develop at the same time, and the team can be great. So I think the A's will win the AL pennant, but the Phillies will ultimately win the World Series due to better bullpen. Thanks, Radley and Aiden. I'm Conrad Schmidt. Thank you for joining us. So long.